Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we have a wonderful Buick for you. We're with friend to the channel, Dennis Durge, and you're gonna love this one. Dennis, what year make and model is this one? 1957 Buick Roadmaster Convertible. <laughs> Let's take a look at our featured attraction. So Dennis, come right alongside me. How long have you had this one? This is new. This is fairly new, yes. How long have you had this one? A month. A month? And we're taking our maiden voyage in it. Yes, we are. Now, this car has only had a couple of owners. And when you come up closer to this one, as the sun is beaming off it, so I'll try to move a little bit this way. One of the ways you can tell it's a 57, well, it says it right there. Even the detail of the little chrome pieces on both sides of the Buick blocked logos. You have the, you can see the bullseye there, hood ornament. Now, I don't have to ask you, you know, you're a Buick expert in my opinion, why you wanted this one. How did this come about? I've been trying to buy this car for almost 10 months, <laughs> and uh, I like 57 convertibles. I have a couple of them, and this, just, this car just hit my eye. Now, the Roadmaster had four portholes on the side. Yes, it did. What was the other model? Was it the Special or something the like special, that? The Special, the Super, and the Century. Okay. Wow, there's your hood ornament. Look at the glass curved around like that. These are now are these these are Kelsey Hayes wheels or Yes, Kelsey Hayes. Wow. This car takes us right back to 1957. I'm gonna step back a bit and I want to show you what it looks like. I'll go back to the details in a second, but I want to show you what it looks like with the top up. So I wanted to show it to you with the top up. So you could take a look at that. That's just gorgeous. All right, we'll take the top down, Dennis. Just like that. And we're back. Let me just let you meditate on that for a moment. Wow. <laughs> if you're a car person, this makes you smile. There's like a little orange piece that comes down, hits this, and you have this waterfall-like piece with the chrome here. We'll turn it around for you to see the interior. I'm going to show you these tail fins in great detail in a moment when we turn it around. But right now, let's since the sun is hitting it, let's take a look under the hood. Love how that has a little hip right there, and then we got these fins now. Now, was this the first year for the fins, or was 56 too? No, 50, 57 was the first star of the fins. Okay. Now, share with me... Uh, first of all, the colors on this car? Tuxedo black over Seminole red. Wow. We are literally taking a ride back to 1957 with this. Factory air conditioning. Now, they didn't make many of those. Not many, no. Now, I'm just curious. Were the Roadmasters, were those... Uh, factory air cars because they were Roadmasters and top of the line, or? No, they were, it's, it was an option. It was an option. It's 57. And I've had the joy of already listening to it start to come out of the driveway. But wait till you hear and watch this 
engine in action. Give me just a second, Dennis. I want to take all this in. Wow. Is this just better than a new car in 57? I mean... Absolutely. The fit well, and finish wasn't anything like this in 1957. Yeah, I, I can't imagine... And was it, it was still the first year for the 12 volt or no 12 volt first year was 53 okay all right Whew, man there's a lot there look at even in the hood how it has that piece there that bracing the nice quietness of this so is this a power brake to it or power brake yes okay man this is a good one this is a good one. Fins, fun, rarity. This one has it all. Look at all of the detail up front. We'll have to blow the horn when we're driving it. All right, let's uh, let's start it up, shall we? Thank you. It's perfection. Holy God. Let's go listen to it. Listen to how quiet that is. And notice the exhaust pipe. And again, I'll turn it around. Let's uh, turn on the lights, shall we? And we'll give it one good rev. You'll see where the tail lights come on when they turn the lights on. Right up there. And this one we're going to turn around for you so you can see the back end and the fins and the light. So I shared with you that we turn it around and show it to you from the back. It's got a slight angle to it because, well, as you can see, we've turned that front wheel. And I'm going to show you why we turned that front wheel in a second. But let me just let you meditate on that shot right there. That's glorious. You can see the reverse light, the brake light, the tail light. When the lights are on, you've got that exhaust that goes right into the bumper. These chrome tusks with these handles, the word Roadmaster, gracing the back of the car, your fuel, and we've got some trunk and treats for you, Dennis, shall we? Sure. There we go. Right off the bat, you have this beautiful inserts. Notice everything here is absolutely done to perfection. You have the engineered approved Buick. Onto our mats. Some of the accessories, a compass, license plate frame, trail master lights, rear seat speaker. All those wonderful things. undercoating. Speaking of undercoating, I will show you to the best of my ability what the underside of this car looks like when we're done with the trunk. Your numbered knockout keys, ashtrays, clock, you get your light pod, we won't go through the whole thing, but they have some nice pictures. I thought that was a real cool piece, how they have that there, and you'll see some of that 
And there, and obviously we have our service manual, our policy, look at the bolts, and then this piece right there is for the air conditioning as well. Really nice how they boxed in the springs there and put this together. So we're going to close that for just a second. And while we close that, I'll take a look underneath it, like so, just to show you how clean that underside is. Look at that. I turned the wheel for a reason. Look at how clean that fender well is here. And I'll just take you underneath here too, just to show you. Better than brand new. Wow. And just all of the bulbous nose on it. You can see if you look from the side how it sticks out just accordingly. Let's open it up, shall we? Love the windshield. Great mirror, all the nice design in there. Dennis, let me have you open it. Let me have you open it, please. You can just open that, thanks. We got the sun hitting it here. So you have this little pad, power, power brakes. Let me just show you the seating, your back seat. Notice you have the light. I can show it to you on this side. You have your power button for the back. Check out the back of these seats even. <laughs> really super classy, let alone the front seats. This, that beautiful ball right in the middle of your car, kind of the airplane kind of gauge there, your left signal, your right signal, your lights. Dennis, what's this piece over here on the side? Is that a wiper washer or something? Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers, okay. Your wonder bar. You have this additional air conditioning vent. The clock with the light. Your ashtray, your ashtray, and the whole glove box. What a grand dash. Oh, with the day night mirror. And, uh, Dennis, I got a question for you. So, You've owned a dealership for 40 years. Where, yeah. does this, where does this one rank in the level of Buicks that you've had? Right up in the top five. Top five. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just an amazing this car. This is close to number one cars you can get. I think so. Yeah. Let's, uh, we're going to take it for a ride. Let's do it. All right. So not only is are you driving this car, but tell me what, how many times have you driven it? This is the first time. This is first the, time I had it out this year. This is the maiden voyage. So the car's never been driven. I don't so, think it's ever been videoed. It's never been vi videoed or pictured. It's got 58 miles on it since 2016. Wow. So the trailer queen is off the trailer. And <laughs> let's go for the ride. First of all, just in the passenger seat. Oh my gosh, is it smooth. It's a floater. This is just floating right along on a perfect day. Look at you got the day-night mirror there. Initial thoughts. It drives, it drives like, a, like it looks. It drives like I thought it would. It <laughs> I see the smile creeping out. Yeah. It's as close to number one as you can get. There's no number one cars, but it's very close. Well, I, I, if there is such a thing, this is it. Well, I the mean, undercarriage is done on. It's done all just as nice as the top of the car. It's all red. The body's painted red oxide. Yeah. The frame is powder coated. The, uh, front belt, the uh, drive line is all powder coated, high gloss. I know I arm wrestled you a little bit to take the top down, but uh, I think it was well worth it. When we take this corner and we go down our normal straightaway, I want to show the speedometer because it has the ribbon speedometer, which is quite unique. 
but you're just gonna love this. So let me show you how the speedometer works. See how it starts to come up as we get speed? That is super cool. If we hit 50, does it turn yellow or green? No. It stays red the whole time? Yep. This is nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay. I want you, if you're having a bad day, to come back to this video and to see the cheesy grins on both of our faces because we feel like 17 year olds. This will be a fun car. Yeah, and I want you to have that same fun experience with us as we travel in the country with you on this ride. Bonus to the viewers on my car story. You take care of us, we take care of you. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, uh, this is... Very smooth car. You can't even hear it. That's just wonderful. Okay, what were you going to say? It doesn't get any better than this. No, it doesn't get any better than this. This is about as good as it gets for sure. We've waited a while to take the car out. You've had it change the fluids and things. We've been talking for a little bit. Granted, it's a new car for you, but... Just absolutely wonderful. Brakes nicely too. Those power brakes work nice. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're doing great. You just need to be driven a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is how we do it. Just like this. This is this is how life should be. Yeah, this is this is way in. It's good. This is good. Does it does it I know you looked for this one for a while and you finally got it. Now that you're taking the big voyage, does it feel as good as everything? Like this just, you know, makes it a 10 for you? That's right. <laughs> yeah, okay, I thought so. Look at this, we got a little water all the way up to the fence. Nothing like coming out in the country and hanging out and putting our big cheesy grins on <laughs> for, the, for the globe to enjoy. Well, if you love cool cars, this is right up there with you. And this is just a great car. Such a fun time being with Dennis again. Uh, thanks for thanks for continuing to buy your super great cars, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for the video. <laughs> My pleasure. Always a pleasure. This is just an unbelievable car, and I hope that you all got the chance to enjoy it with us. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story, Dennis. What a treat.